Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about what we can do to help ease some of our frustrations with the Amazon Fire Stick because we all know that it's limited in several ways. It has a very small amount of internal storage, it only has 8 gigabytes, but more realistically we only get to use about 6 gigabytes of that storage. There are limited ports, we've only got the micro USB port, so it's not easy to connect anything else directly to your Fire Stick, such as a USB receiver for a mouse or keyboard. You're also restricted on what you can install, and we have limited ability with the Amazon Remote Control. I'm going to show you how we can fix all of these issues and turn your slow, restricted and limited Fire Stick into an unrestricted powerhouse. Just what you would expect to find with an Android device. Any hardware that I'm using in this video today, you can find links to everything in the description below this video. So when you're ready, let's get started. Just before we get started, if you follow the steps in this video and experience any issues, then stick around until the end where we will go over some common issues and how to troubleshoot them. If you'd like to jump straight into troubleshooting, then you can skip to this point in the video. So as I've already mentioned, today we're going to be taking a look at how to fix those frustrating issues that we all have with our Fire Stick. At present, as you can see, I am connected to my Wi-Fi. I'm going to use a speed test app called Analyti so that I can test my speed to see what I'm currently getting. If you want to run a speed test on your Fire Stick but don't know how, you can check out my short tutorial in the description below. As you can see, my Wi-Fi is good, but I do know that I can get better speeds with my ISP. This could be a reason why I get buffering or lag or app crashes. If we go into a file management application such as Explore, you can see that I've only got 1.3 gigabytes of storage space left. And I haven't really gone overboard either and installed too many apps. I only have a few installed and I've got nothing else taking up space such as downloaded files. If you don't know how to use Explore and you want to find out more, I do have a tutorial on how to install and use it and you can find a link to that video in the description below. So again, with only a small amount of internal storage left, this could be another reason why I get buffering or lag or app crashes. There are some amazing additions that you can purchase that are not very expensive that can really improve your Fire Stick. Remember that you do not have to have everything I am doing today, just a few of these changes could really improve your experience with your Fire Stick. The first thing you will need if you want to expand the storage of your Fire Stick is some sort of connector that will allow you to plug in your external storage directly into your Fire Stick. And for that, you will need an OTG adapter or an OTG cable. There are several out there that you can buy. And again, everything that I use in this video, you can find links to in the description below. Both the OTG adapter and the cable do exactly the same thing. One is small and compact, and the other gives you a little bit more flexibility. So whichever one you choose, you can just simply plug it into your Fire Stick, and we've now added a USB port, which is great. We've now got more flexibility with what we can add to the Fire Stick. However, this still keeps us pretty limited, as we can only plug in one USB device at a time. For us to really get the most of our Fire Stick, we can add something like this. A USB hub. There are several out there that you can buy, but to really make the most out of your Fire Stick, the one I'm showing you gives you three USB ports and also an Ethernet port. So now not only can we plug in up to three separate devices at a time and attach them to our Fire Stick, but if you were already wired to the internet on your Fire Stick, you can still stay that way. I'm using this one in particular, a Ugreen USB 3.0 hub with Ethernet adapter, as this supports a maximum internet speed of 1000 megabits per second. Some multi-USB hubs only support a maximum of 100 megabits per second, so if you have internet that's faster than that, if you buy an Ethernet port that only supports up to 100 megabits per second, you are not going to be able to get the full download speed that you're paying for. 
And this could also benefit those of you who are getting lag or buffering or your Wi-Fi signal isn't very strong. Having a wired connection can help to resolve those issues too. With our Fire Stick now able to connect three new devices, let's try connecting it up so that we can fix those issues we get with the limitations of the Fire Stick. I'm now going to show you three things that you can add and do once you've got this hardware set up. Steps 1 and 2 can be done on any Fire TV device running Fire OS 5, 6 or 7. Step 3 can only be done on Fire TV devices running Fire OS 6 or 7. So first I'm going to attach a 1TB external hard drive just as plain and simple external storage so I can download as many files as I like and DVR to it. With extra storage you can download to it, move and transfer files to and from your Fire Stick and access files on your external storage through your Fire Stick. So let's say that you have a big video file on your computer, you can copy it to that storage device then plug it into your Fire Stick so that you can view it on the big screen. Secondly, I'm going to attach my WeChip Air Mouse. This fixes several things that the original Amazon remote lacks. One being the WeChip Air Mouse has a keyboard and two, it has a built-in mouse. Thirdly, I'm going to add a 64GB flash drive that I have already partitioned to system storage and this allows me to install loads more apps to it. And if you want to find out how to do this, I do have a step-by-step -step tutorial to help you through this process from turning any external storage device into additional system storage space for your Fire Stick. And you can find a link to that video in the description below. Now with all of this plugged in, let's power it up and take a look at what we can now do with our supercharged, super improved Fire Stick. With the WeChip Air Mouse, I've now got a keyboard and a mouse to control the Fire Stick. Now, the WeChip Air Mouse is really useful if you're using some third-party applications and it requires the use of a mouse to fully navigate. And it's also really great if you're typing in long usernames and passwords or web addresses with the keyboard. So I'm just going to quickly show you how quick and easy it is to use the WeChip Air Mouse. So with the YouTube app open on my Fire Stick, I'm going to search for a video entitled How to Download to Your External Storage using the keyboard on my WeChip Mouse. So that was much easier using the keyboard rather than using my Fire Stick remote to type all of that in. Then I can hit the search button. This finds my tutorial on how you can use your external storage to download directly to it. Typing in all of that is much easier than having to use the Amazon remote to click around on each single character. Not only have we added the capability to use a mouse and keyboard, we've also added a whole load more storage space. So if we go back to the Explore application, you can now see my external 1TB storage hard drive and we can now use that in loads of great ways with the Fire Stick. Now you will remember that I also added the 64GB storage, but because I allocated that to system storage, you cannot see that storage with any file management application. But you can check on your system storage space another way, and you can check out my tutorial on how to do this in the description below. And in addition to all of these ways that we've improved our Fire Stick, now that I have it connected via Ethernet, I can run a speed test again and you can see that now not only is my speed faster, but because it's wired it's going to be more stable. Hopefully you can now see that your Fire Stick has also got so much more potential and you can do so much more with it. However, if you are having some issues, then let's go over some troubleshooting hints and tips. What can you do if your external storage is not showing up? First, you can double check and make sure that everything is plugged in correctly. Some storage devices come with their own power supply. If this is the case, this also needs to be plugged in. Some larger storage devices require extra power that isn't available from the Fire Stick. Make sure that your Fire Stick is powered by the mains power supply. Is the external storage formatted to FAT32? If not, then you will need to connect it to your computer or laptop to format it. If you don't know how to do that, here's a short video showing you how. Just plug your storage in to any USB port on your computer or laptop and follow these steps.
Windows Disk Management will not allow you to format anything above 32 gigabytes into FAT32 format. In this case, you would need to install a free piece of software to do this for you. If you need some instructions on how to do this, then please watch this short video that will show you how. If you're having issues using the Ugreen Multi USB Hub and your wired connection is not being recognized, it will more than likely be because you have not got enough power going to it. If this is the case, you will need to get a 5 volt DC power supply and plug it into the Ugreen Multi USB Hub here, as I'm showing you on screen. If you have any other issues that cannot be resolved by these troubleshooting tips, then please do drop me a comment below this video. When you do, it would be helpful if you could tell me what generation Fire Stick you're using, what OTG you are using, and what brand and size of external storage you are using, and if you are getting any error messages displayed on screen. Thank you for watching. I hope that you found this video useful. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases.